What's up guys, it's Josh from Keep It Techie and today I want to do a quick video showing you guys some system monitoring tools for Linux. Now, I wanted to do this video because I'm actually studying for the Linux Foundation uh, Systems Administrator Certification. And I wanted to cover some of the tools that I've been learning uh, while going through the training to get ready for this certification. And there is a command or an application out there or is actually a bundle of tools that will allow you to gather information about the system as well as report it and keep it in a log files or whatever on the system so you can monitor the systems that way you could see if there are any changes with the actual system and this is mainly a server tool so this is made for systems administrators in order to you know monitor the system performance as well as other things on the linux server so I wanted to go through the installation. I'll do it on Ubuntu 20.04 so you guys can follow along, install these tools, as well as show you guys how to actually use them. And I also didn't explain the name of the actual application I want to show you. It's one of the applications that are included within this bundle of tools and it's called the SOAR tool. And it's basically for monitoring your server resources, you know, just to find out if there's any bottlenecks or possible issues while using the server. Uh, it's kind of like a historical record management type system where it tracks resources. So let me go down and bring up the server right now. I actually have a Ubuntu 20.04 server set up and we'll go through and install it and show you guys how to use it. So let's get started. Okay, cool. So I already have this server up and running. Like I said, this is uh, Ubuntu 20.04. This is where I installed it. I'm already SSH 10 to it from my main machine. Like I said, this is a virtual machine. I think I have like two processors for it and like four gigabytes of memory. It's just a, you know, a very simple server with nothing on it. There's nothing installed on it, but I just want to show you guys how to actually install this application and use it. Now, as I stated, this uh, tool is included in a bundle. And so the command to actually install it is simply sudo apt install. And the bundle is sys stat. So that's the bundle right there. That's how you install it on Ubuntu systems. Now you can also install this on, on Red Hat distributions uh, like Fedora or CentOS. And it's the same, basically the same command, but you'll be using the yum package manager. So all you have to do is type yum here uh, and that'll install sysstat for you. But since we're on Ubuntu, I'm going to go down and use the apt package manager, which is the default package manager on Ubuntu slash Debian uh, distribution. So let's go down and press enter here and this will go down and install the application. Now we have to type in our sudo password since we anytime we're installing something on a Linux system, uh, you have to use the sudo command just basically root rights in order to install application on the system but it shouldn't take too long it's like i said it's a bundle of tools uh i'll list out the tools once i open up the actual uh, man page for it but let's just give it a couple seconds for it to install and we'll go down and get this thing started okay cool so the installation is done now the first thing let me go down and run the man uh command on uh sys stat just to uh, see if it pulls up anything and yes it does so sys stat configuration file this file is this is mainly just talking about the bundle and let me just read a little bit about it, it says this file is re is read by sa1 and sa2 eight shell scripts for the sys stat set of tools it consists of a sequence of shell variable assignments used to configure sysstat logging uh, the variable and their meanings are. So 
this i mean this is just explaining what sys that is it's just basically a script that manages all these tools or whatever but i thought they would have had a list of all the tools that are included in SysStat. so let's just ignore that for right now uh and just look at the tool that i wanted to show you guys and the actual tool that i want to show you guys is the sword command so let's man uh sword because i know it's installed uh now but as you can see it says collect report and save system activity information so soar they have a whole bunch of options uh you can pipe it into different things you know what i'm saying you can pipe it out into files well not pipe it out but it has like a file output uh, that you can write things to but let's read a little bit on the description it says the sword command writes the standard output the contents of selected commutative activity counters in the operating system the accounting system based on the values in the count and interval parameters uh, writes information to specific numbers of time spaced at the specific intervals in seconds so that just kind of gives you an overview of how to use it but let's go a little further down it says the sword command extracts and writes standard output records previously saved in a file and uh, let's not read that part let's go a little further down i thought it would have gave us a little bit more information on it uh, but anyway, here are a lot of the options. Like I said, I'm not going to go through a lot of them. I'm just going to go through a few of them just to kind of show you uh, the basics of actually using the command. But since we um, have it installed now, first thing you want to do is kind of enable it. And you have to enable it using uh, the sysdat. So you could try, uh, you could use a uh, system CTL that should uh, actually start the application. So let's go sudo system CTL and then let's enable it first. Uh, that way it'll start up on boot. So sysstat and I gotta make sure I put that right, that double S there, uh, press enter. That'll enable it so when we reboot the system, it'll automatically start this service now let's go on and start uh sys that that way it'll actually uh start working or whatever so let's press enter boom now we have to kind of configure it because by default uh soar doesn't start collecting data until we actually enable it so we have to go into the configuration file for it right fast so just give me one second let me pull that up but actually uh it's sudo nano uh and then it's under etc and then default and then sysstat and let's open up that file and basically it's one flag that you have to change and basically all you have to do is enable it uh the logging for it so true and then we can save this file, uh, press Y for yes, press enter, boom, so we good. And actually, let's restart the service uh, just to verify that it picks up that configuration. So let's just restart it, boom. And then it should be logging now that it has that, uh, that logging enabled on the actual server now. Now, just so you know, it actually uses the application uh, actually uses a cron job that um, actually does the logging for you. And the default is like it'll uh, create reports every 10 minutes. Um, and that's the default. You can obviously go into the cron job and actually change it, uh, make it shorter. Uh, but we won't get into that as well. But I just want to show you something right fast. You can actually cat out the cron job that we that the actual application created. So let's type cat and then let's go etc uh, cron dot d and then uh, sysdat. So as you can see, it created that cron job automatically when we installed the application or when we enabled it, that's when it uh, actually creates it. So let's press enter right here. And this will give us just information that it's, it is put in there. So as you can see right here, uh, activity reports every 10 minutes every day. So every single 10, every 10 minutes at all day, it'll be logging reports. 
for your system so that's one cool thing about this application it automatically you know does that and i would recommend you kind of leave it there that way it doesn't create too big of a log you know what i'm saying where you have a whole bunch of logs on your system uh but you can always go in and clean it up later on you know what i'm saying or have a system where you go in and you can even write scripts or whatever where you go in and look for logs that are older than a certain date and you can remove them off your system or whatever because you won't need them you know after a certain amount of time but as i stated the sort command is included with sysstat so that's the main one i want to kind of focus on uh but the sort command you know it has a lot of arguments and options and all that stuff but i just kind of want to focus on a few so let me start with the first one uh which i want to show you guys how to actually check like cpu usage on this on our server so let's go down and type in the commands the option is actually dash u so if we type sar uh, dash u and you don't have to be sudo to actually run this uh, because all you're doing is looking at information and as you can see that's that's basically the information on our cpu and right now it doesn't have anything in it because we just started the logging process so that's why it's empty right there but it shows you know the actual cpu um and it should list out uh information on the actual uh cpu uh with the cp cpu uh information but all right let's say you haven't or you just turned it on like we just did in this demonstration let's say you want to look at the real time stats now one thing you can do is type uh sar uh dash u and let's say we want to look at the uh cpu usage uh every one second so let's put that in there so one is the first argument and then let's say we want to look at the command let's say uh 10 times uh so we can run we could type 10 that'll be the second argument or whatever in our command so sor dash u we want to look at the processor and then we want to look at it every one second and then we want it to run 10 times so kind of like the ping command how you can specify a certain amount of times that you want the ping command to run was well, the same thing here this is the argument that you will put and this is the format so let's press enter there and it'll run through and you'll see the stats as they as they go through and it's running every one second uh, and it's showing you, you know, the information on the actual CPU. And as you can see, you know, it's really, it's really running idle. Like I said, this system doesn't have anything going on on it. I don't have like a web server up and running. I don't have anything installed, my SQL, nothing. So that's why it's, you know, it's a, it's a idle system right now. So you won't get much information but that shows you how to actually look at it you know what i'm saying and this is what's happening uh in the logging uh it's logging this information you know every 10 minutes so you can get over time you know you get a good idea of how the system is performing over time so that's a cool thing about this and that's why i wanted to show you guys a real-time look of the actual program what it'll actually show you in the actual uh list once you go through and uh run it just using the u option now let's go down and run the same command but let's say we want to look at the memory usage uh so we can run the sort command and then the way to look at the ram is basically dash or that's the option for it and then let's do the exact same thing so every one second uh and let's just run it 10 times and press enter this will look at the memory on the system so like i stated this is a great way of gathering information over time so that's one cool thing about this application uh you can see the memory usage of the system over time and like i said this will be included you know when as the cron job runs you'll start seeing uh the logs fill up and you'll be able to go through and look at the overtime view of the system now it's another tool that i want to kind of show you guys and it's a quick one uh but this actually uh looks at cpu statistics and input and output statistics uh on block devices as well as partitions and one reason i wanted to show this is because i just 
recently did a video on the F this command which shows you how to create partitions you know make file systems and all that stuff so i just wanted to show you this command as well but you can basically run io stats and let's press enter on that and that way we can you know kind of look at what's going on as far as the partitions uh input output you know statistics and all that good stuff so uh as you can see these are the loop back devices so just kind of ignore that but I mean, it is being read, but um, as far as this is the actual uh, partition or the main partition for the hard drive or for the operating system. So as you can see, it has that IO statistics or whatever that are on here, you know, reads, writes, you know, things discarded um, and the kilobits per second, you know, read and kilobits per kilobits written per second, you know, all that good stuff and uh tps as well okay and so it's one last uh command that i want to show you you know it's one of the tools that's included uh and it's actually called pid stats and this basically gives you information on the processes the linux processes on the system so you can type pid stats and press enter and this will give you the processing stats so as you can see you know, you can go through and see all the actual commands that are running on the system. You got system D uh, or the processes that are running uh, system D. Um, what else? Uh, Snap D, uh, Z, SSH D. So that lets me know the SSH server and I'm connected via the SSH server. Bash is running. Uh, so those are the processors that are running on the system. Uh, and you can get the stats for that as well. So this is similar to what you would see in uh, the htop command. But as I stated, you know, this information is logged. So uh, you'll be able to, you know, check all this information through using the sword command. So I just kind of wanted to show you that or whatever. Like I said, these are some cool commands that you want to learn, especially if you're looking at getting into Linux systems administration. Uh, it's one of the things I learned while I was going through the training for the LFCS um, certification that I'm planning on taking pretty soon. Uh, I'll actually be taking it uh, come next week. So wish me luck or whatever. I'm going to go through and, and do my best and try to pass this certification. But i hope you guys enjoyed the video i hope you guys got some out of it please download uh sysstat on your system that way you can you know test it out this is one of those things like i said that'll help you track uh system performance you know throughout the system running for you know a long period of time you know what i'm saying you'll have all that information so you can kind of narrow down if you run into issues that may be on a system this will give you a good way to kind of start starting point on where to actually troubleshoot and fix those problems that may pop up so like i said i hope you guys enjoyed the video if this is your first time here please like share and subscribe to the channel and of course keep it techie